Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I am in search of some opinions. <laughs> be nice with them though, please. Just tell me what you truly think, but be nice. Um, I have been seeing a lot of Norman Rockwell um, images that I think, hmm, I could really do something with that. <laughs> I could really make me a good collage with that. And it reminded me that I have this book that has been in my closet for probably 10 years. It's actually a little dusty. It's been on the top shelf. Um, and it was my grandmother's. So I went and I got it and brought it out here. And I thought the first thing I should do is see the value. On Amazon, it's $99.99. And it looks like several have sold. It's got a lot of reviews. So there's that. On thrift store, or thrift books, it's $29.09. At $29.09, I'm thinking, I'll use it. But I don't know about the $99. And then some of them, some things that I saw said that it's rare. So, wait. I don't think the one that's $29.99 is the right edition, though. So I wanted to ask your opinion of what you think yeah it's twenty twenty nine ninety nine and this is the book I can't get it all I don't have enough room on my desk to get it all in but it's from 1970 and it's in excellent condition except for that little dust on the well it looks like that was stuck together right there too a little bit but, um, a little bit of dust on the dust cover but otherwise and it's got this here I guess this is probably so you could take it out and frame it if you want to um, but I haven't even been in this for a while oh that looks like it's kind of warped there it's not in excellent condition anymore that's what happens I guess when it sits in a closet for 10 years and, but it's got, I didn't look at it before I turned on the camera, so I didn't realize it had some damage. It didn't used to have that damage. It must be from just sitting. And the pages that have the pictures, they're, they're extra thick. They're thicker than the other ones. It's got lots of little black and whites, which I don't know that I could probably use. I might be able to like cut a man out or something and put it into another collage. <laughs> that one's funny. <laughs> that could be fun to put in something. Cut him out. Put him belly flopping in a swimming pool or something. <laughs> Not belly flopping, back flopping I guess. Oh, here's another one that's I think made just kind of It's glued on all the way. The first decade, 1910 to 1919. We've all seen that. <laughs> but I just think I could do so much with these and make it collages. And see, these aren't so tiny. I could use all of these. Wouldn't she, that cup will be fun to put on something. You know, put into some, some scene. And over here, it's got a bunch of magazine covers. That's um, Saturday Evening Post Covers 1917 to 1919. I love, I love that. I love him. And then that peeking out, you know. This one is the C. This is the 20s. More magazine covers. These are 1920 to 21. Here's 22. Look at this lady. Is she awesome? <laughs> I just 
just really think I could have fun with this. I want my grain and put it on the wall. That was always my favorite one of Grandma's. She had all kinds of Norman Rockwell stuff. This is the book that came to me. So I don't know. How, well, I said I didn't want the plates. I didn't want a bunch of plates. I don't know what I'd do with them. I should have saved them and, you know, I could have given them to each of the grandkids, but how would I know I was going to have all these grandkids? You know, she's been gone longer than 10 years because she didn't know I had grandkids, I don't think. I don't think I had any yet when she passed. So maybe my oldest one. She's, she's 16. Maybe, but I, I can't remember what year. I don't remember things like that. These are 33 to 35 covers. Isn't she cute? Now they could be fun. I'd have to like put them behind something, you know, because of, unless I wanted the little boy in it. But they could be so much fun. And then look at this couple. They could be two. I could put something different in the middle that they're fight, you know, that they're pulling between each other. Like a, I don't know, a fish probably wouldn't work because of the way their hands are. But I could put something in there. <laughs> okay, now the little ones are in color, so that's awesome. He could be fun. I'm going to fold out. Yankee Doodle came to town riding on a pony. He stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. <laughs> that I could try to replace that with some other picture you know that like a picture of a bird or something Look at this. love her She could be fun. Have her sitting on a totsu or something. Or, I don't know, but she could be fun to cut out and do something with. This couch could even be fun to, you know, just cut out this half and put it at the edge of the paper and have something setting in it. She's pouty. <laughs> So, I mean, in the long run, I'm thinking $100, yeah, I could go buy me some craft supplies at Amazon, like, you know, if I could get it sold. Now, there's somebody else selling on there that's got all kinds of reviews that they've done a really good job and the books are really nice and all that. So, who says that somebody would buy my book over hers? I'd probably have to go down, you know, to 69 or maybe 89 So, to get them to look at mine instead of hers because I wouldn't have any reviews and I haven't sold on eBay for years so I gotta factor all that in too oh look at her isn't that fun she's fun too oh that's a fun one I like that <laughs> Look on her face. These are an interesting size. I've seen, this is one I've seen that I thought, oh, I could do something with that. That is so fun. <laughs> I really like those. 
and I, and I like the kids and the people. I could take them out and put them in something else. This, this granny, she looks grouchy. <laughs> That's another one I've seen. I thought, oh, I love all those heads to do paper dolls. Now, a lot of them are sideways to a point where I'd have to find a certain kind of body, but I still think they could be fun. Oh, this one's, oops, I knocked over my thing. This one's pretty. Love the chickens. Oh, she's got her 4-H book. This is her 4-H cow. Oh, that's cool. My grandkids just got done with the fair. And one of them got two state fair um, ribbons. And so she's going to state fair with a quilt and a cake. And then my youngest, they all got blue ribbons. But my youngest also, she got a ribbon that's taken her to Old Freshers with hers. So they were all really excited. I don't think as many kids do 4-H anymore, but it's a really good thing. You learn a lot of things. I probably learn more in my 4-H that I use now than I did in school, honestly. I mean, you know, I use math and stuff like that, but, you know, 4-H, I did a lot of cooking and um, just different things that I still use. Oh, I love this one. Oh, I love that family right there. Aren't they cute? Can you see them? I can't get it up any higher. And I can't hold it up because, oh, it is heavy. Here's the presidents. These are pretty. I like this little couple. <laughs> Now this one is one I saw too, and this is what made me go looking for this, because I saw this one and I thought, wouldn't it be cool if she's looking in the mirror and she's seeing a big bird or something, and like a big lovely, because she looks like she's kind of sad, you know, she's looking at the model here and looking in the mirror at herself, and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have like a beautiful bird there that she's seeing or something. This girl's perfect. I don't know if I could fit her in something. She's about, how tall is she? She is a little over 12 inches tall. <laughs> that one was one I saw too and thought about having something like a bird in there. I was thinking of my bird collages and it would be cool to put a bird there. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> oh, he's got a Santa. He must have discovered who Santa was. <laughs> Because he's got Santa clothes and he's so shocked. <laughs> that one's December 29th, 1956. This one's cute. Let me see if I can get the glare there. <laughs> and I like these little, I keep hitting my magnetic dish that's holding my dies I was using. And these are cute. That would be fun to put a different, something different on the scales. I know you can't see, but the scales come down. It's one of the old fashioned scales. And that would be fun to put something different on those scales. Pittsfield, Massachusetts. I cannot say that. I've never been able to say that state. But that is a fun town scene to do something with, too. Oh, look at the hot air balloon. Oh, I love it. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> oh, look at them. Oh, that is so pretty. I love it. She's going to school. I don't remember her name, but she is going to school in a white school. And she did it. 
I'm sure that is what that is. Um, I'm not sure, but I, I, I mean, I don't know her name. I can't remember, but I do remember seeing a movie or something about her, or the kid had a book or something. Can you imagine the, how brave she must have been? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that one's fun. Ooh, look at that. That's just asking to have something collage there or him standing looking at something else. Achievement for yourself, greatness for your nation. Lyndon Johnson. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> and their elephant? It's all painted up. Oh my goodness. It, that kind of looks like an octopus. I don't know what that is, but it really. I can do this. It really looks like an octopus. I hope you can see it. I gotta set it down. Oh my goodness. Moving van. Some more brave kids. Christmas scene. Oh, how fun. Oh, that could be fun, fun, fun. And the Boy Scouts. That dog is an interesting to put him into something. This one ends it. I love it. This one's beautiful. Department of Interior Bureau of Reclamation. I'm not sure. But anyway, okay. So that is this book. And I want your opinions on if I should be using this or leave it intact. There's a little sticker there. Okay, I probably can rub that off. I tried to sell it at a yard sale years and years ago for $10. I didn't sell and that was a long time ago and for some reason I put it away with that sticker on it um, so okay, I did I probably didn't even scrapbook then I don't know I can't remember but I couldn't think of any reason I needed to keep it I don't have a coffee table grandma had it on her coffee table so uh, I just didn't know and I was a lot younger a lot younger than I am now <laughs> I think sometimes if we inherit stuff when we're younger it should just be put away somewhere and um, let us get a little bit older before <laughs> we decide we don't want that i remember when we got married my husband and i we got a carnival glass fruit bowl and it was kind of purpley iridescent you know and it was probably about that wide it was oval had a little feet on it i didn't like it i was 19 i didn't like that thing that was old-fashioned i didn't like it i sold it at a yard sale some older lady happily took it. <laughs> now I think I shouldn't have been allowed to do that. I would love to have that back. And it was carnival class. <laughs> but, and there's other things that I've said. Well, like Grandma had, um, she, her and Grandpa were big into reading. They had a library in the room. And then in one of the bedrooms, the whole wall was um, bookshelves. And it was full of National Geographic years and years and years of National Geographic and I said no I don't want them what am I gonna do with them I don't want them 
<laughs> now I'm like looking around trying to find them to buy. So um, I kind of think we ought to have a little bit of time to grow up a little bit when we're, you know, so young and can't figure out why we would want that thing. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? Let me know what you think. And please be nice. Don't, you know, like cuss me out or anything for even thinking of cutting it out if that's what you think. Just let me know. Um, I'll be seeing you. Bye.